Clio has helped us look at our business and to work on the business instead of working in the business. Um, what it's been great for is giving us a structure for promoting the business, working on marketing, sales and also looking at different ways of going about things and standing back and saying what do we want from the business and how we're going to get there. Well, the reason I joined Clio, uh, we went through a, a very uh, rapid growth of uh, the business over a space of 18 months. We went from 4 employees to 18 or 15 and uh, I, needed, I heard about Clio as a program uh, to give me a platform to increase my knowledge on business. Um, it, it really teaches you the essence of how to grow your business and how to carry on a stable business without doing everything yourself. You know, we've all been battered by the recession and it is great to meet with like-minded people on a monthly basis. And no matter how bad things have seemed in the past month, you get into that room with those people who are buoyed up with confidence and you leave full of confidence and I would highly recommend it for that reason alone. And all the different topics that we did with um, you know, different coaches each time and what I loved about it was, was that we got the opportunity to actually have input into how the course was going to be run. Uh, I think that was really, really clever of Plato um, because they allowed us to actually say, look, these are my weaknesses and how can I correct them? So it was, it was fantastic from that point of view. Main uh, benefits that we got out of it, uh, we had covered a lot of the stuff in management, but it was refreshing to go back over some of the management uh, things, certainly time management and uh, life uh, work. Uh, Balance was, was, was brought up, which was, which was a good idea to find out the true balance between life and work. It's not all work. And the other big change then was at Plato, I spoke a lot about my long standing desire to open Montessori en Francais, um, but I really was just stagnated. I didn't know where to go to actually start it. I couldn't find the perfect way of doing it. So by discussing it with uh, my colleagues at Plato, I came to learn that, well, I won't know the perfect method until I try it. So we imp implemented it in a trial Montessori en Francais, and that has just been incredibly successful. So with the result that we have just recently heard that we're shortlisted for a Euro European Language Labels Award um, for our Montessori en Francais project. We would have quadrupled our turnover and we would have gone from a loss-making situation into a profit-making situation. And a lot of that is really down to the elements that are inside Plato. I think another thing that a lot of people really overlook until they've actually finished the program is that being an owner-driver of a business is a terribly lonely place to be. And if you're in an environment where confidentiality is key, but we are with owners of a business just like yours. It gives you a chance to perhaps relax and to expose yourself and to share some of those difficulties you have and come up with solutions that are garnered by the collective wisdom of the group. I think that's possibly one of the things you don't think of that you actually get. It's funny in a group, you, you know, you could be floundering on an issue and then somebody says something, the simplest of things, how about you do X? Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so that was really helpful. So I think the big things for me were around strategy and sales um, and really taking that apart again and really teasing out and really, you know, plotting my, um, you know, doing my slot and all my analysis, etc., etc. But really drilling down into who are you addressing when you want to sell your product and where are you placing that product? You know, where's the point of sale, the point of decision making? Are you going to be there? Are you going to be ready for that person? And are you going to be delivering exactly what their need is? So it's the starting with the need um, for the customer and placing the customer, of course, at the centre of everything that we do. But then working back from that and looking at um, how can we best meet that need where that person is at, at that moment in time. So the, the, the buyer decision point and making sure that it's not good quality care, that it's exceptional quality care. That's what we're about.